What is up everybody? We know that you have been cooped up in your homes all week long, so we are coming at you with five tips on how to self-quarantine as a Christian. Here we go. So, step number one. Everybody's talking about social distancing. Now, we know as Christians, Mark 12, 31 tells us to love our neighbors as ourselves, but for the sake of social distancing, we are going to be loving our neighbors from six feet away. So if you know the no purpling rules, this is gonna sound familiar. We're gonna leave room for Jesus, and he's gonna cleanse the air, okay? He's gonna cleanse the air. It's true, it's biblical. Don't look it up. Hey, Olivia. Nope, nope. I love you, but from six feet away. Step number two. First Peter 4 8 tells us that love covers a multitude of sins. Now, love may cover a multitude of sins, all right? But it's not gonna cover your mouth for you, okay? You need to cover your mouth. If you feel a cough coming on, I don't see this. I don't see this. I wanna see this, okay? And don't be coughing in both of your arms, okay? Have a designated cough and sneeze arm, please, and thank you. Please, and thank you? All right, step number three, and this one's a big one, okay? Just because we are quarantining ourselves does not mean that our generosity just goes out the window. Okay, we are still called to be generous, all right? And listen, we know that you guys were the ones who were stocking up on all the toilet paper that Kroger had to offer, and you know someone who's on their last roll, and you're just being stingy. You know what I would say to you? Proverbs 28, 27 says that those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who turn away from them receive many curses. So do with that information what you please. Just know the Lord is watching. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Step number four. Matthew Matthew 23 1 says that Jesus spoke to a large crowd. You're not Jesus. Stay home. You need to be avoiding crowds, okay? You don't need to go to that party anyway. We know what's in those cups and it's not water. All right, step number five. This is the last step and, all right, it's James 4 8. Wash your hands, you filthy sinner. You filthy sinner. This one's pretty self explanatory. Um, so, yeah, stay safe, kids.